and we had an oil spill here in 2011 and it was horrible. April 29th, 2011, there was a massive oil spill in our traditional territory. 28,000 barrels, 4.5 million liters from a pipeline, which also consumed beaver dams and it went into a muskeg, which is a lot of where our traditional medicines grow as well. And the muskegs are connected to the aquifers and the water systems. And it happened right on our traditional land. It happened near a river and the river all carried out right into our lake. How I found out was my Aunt Lillian, who taught in the school for 35 years, she called and texted. And I said, we need you home. You need to come help us. And she said, Auntie, I'll go as soon as I can, you know, right away. She got on it. And she said, no one's telling us what's happening. Can you find out what's happening? Because we took the kids out to the schoolyard and our eyes are burning, our stomachs are turning. We don't know what's happening and we can't breathe. There was no evacuation process. In fact, the community wasn't even told of the immensity of the spill until five days later. So I set out to find a helicopter to at least fly over so we could take pictures from the air. We wrote up a press release and then we sent it out to the media and every major media outlet in Canada came because it was one of the biggest oil spills in Canada's history. Animals were dying and they, they ruined the, the water and they, it's forever. People are crying. It hurt. I would say, like, I probably developed PTSD from that. Like, it's very traumatic. Um, you know, the fact where you're just like, you, you work like 16 hour days and you're like shaking because you're just trying to like field calls from the media and trying to like get ex access to the spill and trying to make sure your family's okay. You know, it just felt like you couldn't do enough. And I can talk to him blue in the face. It doesn't matter how much I travel and talk, but that my family can't breathe. That was why I really wanted to see what does a just transition look like when we're implementing renewable energy so my family doesn't have to experience so many oil spills in and around the area and breathing in these toxic gases. My niece Melina brought in the solar project. It was really awesome. Something, you know, was happening in our community. <laughs> The local people helped a lot to set it up. That was my way of feeling more empowered, of building and doing something that will leave a better legacy for younger ones coming in after me. Good.